Gone with the Wind is Margaret Mitchell's novel. It's very popular in the South. It's the second best-selling book in the South after the Bible. So it's important. Uh, and that'll play into this later. It's a book about the Civil War. And it's about a book. It's about a woman named uh, Scarlett O'Hara, who's about a 6'10 body and a 10'10 personality. And her family and her friends all get blown up by the North in the Civil War. Uh, that's a long, that's a TLDR. Now, she is a rich uh, piece of shit, um, for, for lack of a better word. And she's got a buddy named Rhett Butler, who doesn't really give a fuck about the South or the North, but he's out here to have fun and make money and, uh, and you know, do the damn thing. Now, she marries uh, some dipshit, thanks to nobility. He dies. She goes around wearing black. Rhett Butler shows up. She's like, hey, what's up? He's like, get fucked, nerd, LOL. And then he runs off. And she's like, oh. And then they dance. And then it goes on some more. And there's more war. More things burn down. More things explode. Rhett Butler goes out with a couple of his buddies. He's got another rich friend. He's got a, a piece of shit. He's got an edgelord. And he's got a, a clown. And they run around and do some stuff and, and fuck with the South and the North. Uh, and then it turns out that uh, Scarlett O'Hara's older brother, who she thought was dead, is actually alive. And he's piloting the Tall Geese 3, which is a giant robot. And he's being paid by a guy named Trace Kushranada to actually usurp the South from within. And that's uh, why he disappeared. And so they've actually, the uh, the, the uh, Scarlett O'Hara family has been against the South the whole time. You didn't even realize that because that's in the backside of the story. Uh, and then she ends up dating Rhett Butler, who is a terrorist, uh, but it's okay because they made him the protagonist of the story. And that is how Gone with the Wind is almost identical to Gundam Wing.